Uh, Charles Marsala. Thank you, Council. Charles Marsala, 231 North Roadway. I'm here with the, as the president of the Italian American Federation of the Southeast. Uh, actually speaking on Professor Longhair, um, great to see these being honored, and he actually recorded with one of our great Italians, Cosmo Matassa, who recorded Alan Tucson, Fats Domino, and many other people. I'll segue that in, uh, that uh, Billy deserves a sign, and it's a good chance to remind you guys we're looking for a Tivoli Circle sign still. So hopefully we could look at getting that done. We're also here at Italian Heritage Month, so it'd be great to see Italian Heritage Month recognized uh, for the Italians and what we've contributed to the city. I've actually been invited to the White House next week. Jill Biden has invited several leading Italians from the nation, and I made the uh, invite list. Her, their proclamation mentions New Orleans because in 1890, the City Council of New Orleans gave $10,000 to a committee that used that money to buy Winchester rifles to massacre Italians, and that was part of how Columbus Day was created. So it'd be great to see Italian Heritage Month recognized in New Orleans. The um, state of Louisiana, because there are many of us here, has allocated about $200,000 next year to promote Italians to visit Louisiana. And likewise, we have 10 heritage markers we've been trying to get through parks and parkways for about five years. None of them have been approved. And if you're going to pro promote tourism, we see people coming here taking pictures with the one marker that's up and it's on state land. So it'd be great to get parks and parkways on board to prove these markers. Uh, one of the big ones is the first airplane to land in America was Francesco Di Pinedo right here in the Mississippi River. We can't get that marker approved. Mother Cabrini, we can't get approved. So it'd be great to see uh, some support to get that done. Thank you. Thank you. Councilmember Green. And thank you, Mr. Marsala.